Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, what's up, what's up, what's up? I'll be doing the new moon July 2nd through 4th, 2019. The new moon spreads for my water signs collectively. What's going on? For my water signs, babies, new moon energy, guys. What's going on? My water signs, all right? Pisces, collectively, sun, moon, rising. Pisces, collectively, sun, moon, rising. What information do I have at this time for Pisces, collectively? All right, Pisces collectively, sun, moon, rising. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Okay. So I see that you guys can be not liking the finances or not liking the way or uh, how something is working out. You guys can also be receiving like um, you like your home environment, something to do with your home environment, your finances, your foundation. Um, you don't like, you want to change. This can also be you seeing or realizing that during this new moon energy, maybe a family situation isn't how you expected or isn't how you wanted something to uh, go. You can also be uh, not listening to your intuition or you guys can be fearful of um, booking a one-on-one -on -one reading with me. For some of you, others of you, you guys might be just fearful of not listening to your intuition when it comes to your stability your values what you want okay your spirituality your uh beliefs your morals the empress reverse i feel like a libra or taurus um like a mother figure i feel like because of a situation a family dynamic not working out this can be someone that's pregnant so maybe you could be finding out that someone else is pregnant others of you this can be you feeling like uh, you're not creative at this time another group of you i feel like you guys can be a child's mother and you guys are not happy because a family situation isn't working out the way that you expected okay and i feel like emotionally you might be on your menstrual cycle this can also be a miscarriage that some of you guys might be going through uh pisces so i apologize others of you i feel like there's an ace of cups is like an emotional fulfillment uh with being by yourself or this is like an illumination maybe you guys like i said this miscarriage is illuminating you okay maybe a miscarriage is also uh allowing you to see like a blessing in disguise others of you the ace of cups i feel like uh you're being manipulated by the moon a menstrual cycle here okay i do feel like you guys are f feeling emotionally fulfilled when it comes to a relationship not working out okay and you are feeling unhappy about your foundation or you need to find the strength within yourself because because i feel like some of you pisces you guys might be feeling like damn a relationship didn't work out like why didn't it work out i put all this time energy and effort into it especially if it was a pregnancy involved i'm sorry um, I definitely see that if this was a miscarriage, this could have been a blessing in disguise because something wasn't working out. A relationship wasn't working out to begin with here. And maybe you guys had to see that and there was some type of truth that came out about that. Okay, because there's new energy that's coming towards you. But I do feel like either you or someone else is being very deceptive, trying to get over on someone, trying to drain off, drain out all of someone's finances here. Yeah. So I feel like either you or someone else, this is like a back. Okay, so I feel like you guys are wanting to go into new energy, but again, there's some type of deception or um, someone is trying to drain your finances here as well. This can be you realizing that th this person is deceptive. Maybe you're deceptive. Some of you guys might be deceptive. Other Others of you, this might be someone deceiving you, trying to get around you with finances. But I do see that your finances are, are not you want to be more abundant you don't want to be in the place that you are at and i feel like you may have cut off communication with something or with someone that was balanced or harmonious or maybe someone that had um like you know your best interest here but i feel like maybe something in the past may have happened where you deceived them or something to do with finances or something to do with something that caused the friendship or relationship to sever the unknown card unknown situations are happening so i definitely feel like there's a lot of different factors pisces i definitely see that you guys are going and you guys are wanting to go into new energy but i definitely feel like the people around you or the people that you're dealing with they're very deceptive shady shysty and in return you might also be latching onto that energy not saying that you yourself are shysty but it's like whoever's coming towards you libra gemini aquarius capricorn virgo taurus okay could be a leo um someone is just not right is what i'm hearing someone's just not right either you or someone else is trying to mess up somebody else's finances and it's gonna backfire on whoever is doing this okay and like i said someone could have did this because they found out that someone else was pregnant or some or someone was unhappy that they 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 wasn't the one that received the child or this can be a mother of someone's child is unhappy because the family situation didn't work out the way that they expected here and they feel like damn they put all this time and energy into something all right <clears throat> pisces collectively 
for the new moon energy so that was a lot Pisces I feel like there's a lot going on I feel like you guys need to rest I do feel like a lot of you guys need to get my aura cleanse and get a reading from me Pisces if that energy does resonate with you whether it's you or someone else okay don't go in the comments being like it's not me okay because it's, yeah, it's the energies can be interchangeable all right babies so Pisces Pisces Pisces, what information do I have at this time for Pisces collectively? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So the Eight of Raphael, I feel like there's you're needing to look at something. You're needing to look at something from a better, uh, bigger perspective here. You know what you need to do. There's a spiritual journey or spiritual quest that you guys are going on. You need to move forward here and take control of your life. This is also you being... Um, you having some type of self-control here, okay? You being determined to go forward when it comes to your, uh, what you want for self, okay? Your needs, your wants, okay? The lovers. So this is definitely you receiving, um, an offer. This can be someone that's wanting to offer love to you, okay? So deep emotional commitments. I feel like you're having to look at if you're wanting to go forward in this relationship. If you want this person with you on this relationship, um, on this journey of self for some of you, Pisces, okay? I definitely see there's Gemini and Cancer, okay? So I definitely feel like you guys could be dealing with any of the signs that I named previously in your reading, or this can just be you realizing that you're needing to move forward and that there's a relationship that is a catalyst for you moving forward or vice versa, okay? You guys can be also expressing yourself. All right. Scorpio babies, go ahead and timestamp. This is for my Scorpios, collectively, Sun, Moon, Rising. All right? Sun, Moon, Rising, this is for my Scorpio babies. My Scorpio babies, what's going on? <clears throat> Communication. All right, so the new moon in Cancer, what is that going to bring for my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, collectively? What is that going to bring for my Scorpios collectively? Thank you, Spirit. What information do I have for my Scorpios collectively? Thank you, Spirit. Let's see. All right. So I do see that there might have been some cutoff communication. Maybe you blocked someone or someone blocked you. Okay. This could have been maybe someone didn't get a message or vice versa. You didn't receive a message here. I do see that there's unknown situations that are happening where someone is coming in with an offer. Could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Someone's offering you a couple of or wanting to start something uh, new with you. I do feel like you're not wanting to juggle. So you're choosing to make a choice here because you, I feel like you denied an offer either of uh, foundation, stability, or love. You did I offer here and maybe it has your focus or someone is someone's focus is all over the place here the six of wands but I do feel like you are standing up for what you believe in or you are very passionate about your 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 foundation okay you're found you're very passionate about what you've built for self the knight of swords for the knight of swords I feel like you guys might be also uh expressing yourself in a very aggressive cutthroat manner okay I do feel like whoever you're dealing with this can be someone that you just met okay or you guys may have been you guys feel like childlike around each other okay i do feel like this is going to be a gemini they can have a venus and gemini you can have a venus and gemini okay i definitely see that there's actions that is not being taken and someone is feeling like defeated or someone is feeling tired exhausted and stuck okay to a situation okay i feel like someone is feeling stuck but this can also be a mental illusion some of you guys can be can be yeah, some of you guys can be feeling stuck to a situation, but I feel like you guys, the King of Cups, you guys are wanting to master your emotions. That's really what it is. You guys are not wanting to be a part of this situation, a part of this relationship where there's, um, where you feel like you're not getting what you want or you feel tired, exhausted, like you got to handle all the responsibilities by yourself. For some of you Scorpios, others of you, like I feel like you guys feel stuck or bound. Yeah, so that was an omen, Scorpio. There might be some type of fast communication or there might be something suddenly happening that's might that make you feel like, uh, that makes you feel like you're stuck or makes you feel like you have to get out of a situation and master your own emotions here. All right, so Scorpios, collectively. Scorpios, what messages do I have? Thank you, Spirit. For Scorpios, collectively, Sun, Moon, Rising. Thank you, Spirit. 
you have all communication cards all your throat chakras so you're being guided to really talk to open up to be communicative okay so the four of michael i have insights that come from quiet meditation the need for more sleep or time off seek relief from stress Seek relief from stress, okay? So taking the time needed so that you can rest, take the God and Goddess breaks that you need to. You know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience. A time for your career rather than relationships. Queen of Michael. So you guys knowing that you're needing to take time to really build your foundation or get your money up or, you know, maybe you're wanting A, B, and C. It's time for you to really focus on that instead of focusing on whatever is in front of you. The seven of Michael. There's a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. So, Seven of Michael, maybe you guys were asking yourself whether you should partner up with someone. Okay, I feel like some of you guys are needing to partner up with someone so that something can be more um, beneficial for you. Others of you, you're being guided to look at a, a better a better action. There's a better way for you. There's a better... Um, there's, there's a better plan available to you, Scorpios. I feel like you guys are needing to look at it, okay? You guys are needing to take take the rest that you need to. Stop overworking yourself. Stop being around people um, that is going to cause you confliction or confusion here, okay? Because there's a better answer. There's a better way for you. All right, guys? So I definitely feel like, Scorpios, you guys are going through um, a lot of... A need for you guys to communicate and a, a need for you guys to really look at things, reflect on things as well, all right? Cancers, collectively, Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, collectively. <clears throat> cancers, collectively. Cancers, collectively. Cancers, collectively, Sun, Moon, Rising. Sun, Moon, Rising, collectively. Thank you, Spirit. All right. So I do see that you're trying to figure out your foundation, your stability, your environment at this time. You may not be liking the, the living situation. Maybe you don't like the um, home environment that you're living in or the area. Okay. Maybe you're wanting something different or wanting to live with someone different. Okay. You could be definitely dealing with a Leo. It could be an Aries, Virgo, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Okay. Could be any sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Leo energy is very strong. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. So I definitely see that the world card, things are happening the way that it needs to. All right, you have the world, strength reversed, judgment reversed, the nine of cups, the hermit reversed, the page of cups, the nine of swords reversed, and the sun card. So Cancer, it's... I definitely see that there's a wrap up or there's something you're feeling more peace, content. You're feeling more fulfilled with how things are going in your life, even though you might be upset with um, you, you. You're needing to find a strength. OK, you need to find a strength or you're needing to find a strength to move forward in a situation where um, a fair decision has been made here. But I do feel like you're being inspired. OK, you're being inspired to also listen to your wishes or listen to what makes you more fulfilled, makes you feel makes you feel more happy. All right, Cancer, the Hermit Reverse, I feel like Virgo energy, you guys can be withdrawing yourself, okay? Spending a lot of time, in, uh, spending a lot of time drowning out your sorrows and not trying to think about things instead of looking at what you wanted to create, the Page of Cups. This is also something that you may feel like, like you're wanting to create something that's going to be beneficial for you, that's going to make you happy here, but you need to make the rest that you need to, all right? You can also be wanting to create like a... You're wanting to create, this is going to be like a, a letter, a, a song, this could be a song, a letter, a message, a phone call, or maybe you're just wanting to create something that's going to be emotionally fulfilling for you, but I feel like you're needing to communicate or you're needing to um, take a rest, take a break here, okay? I definitely feel like the sun card, this can also be a single parent, single father, single mother, okay? This is also like Leo energy, so I feel like you guys are really focused on your happiness, on building your happiness here, okay? I definitely see that you guys are... You guys are um, realizing that there's a home environment that's being broken down to be rebuilt. Things around you and your external factors are being broken down because maybe someone isn't um, speak. Maybe someone someone is slow. It's like 
slow to act or slow to give or slow to express something but i feel like someone is balanced like some the another party's balanced with their emotions they're manifesting what they need to this can also be someone that you have your eye on could be a pisces could be a sagittarius could be a leo okay but i do feel like you're also looking at someone out there like they're very attractive okay like they're very peaceful okay like a manifester a magician a god a goddess all right so cancer i definitely see that there's a focus over the next um in this during this new moon you guys can be focused on a situation um maybe a living situation maybe wanting to live with someone or maybe you have um like kids on your mind maybe you're uh Maybe you're thinking about your kids. Maybe you're thinking about this person having a family or creating a family or maybe your family. Maybe you're uh, focused on building your family, okay, or what is going to be, what is going to happen or what what you feel is going to be beneficial so that you can be happy, okay? But Sagittarius, Pisces, Leo, Virgo is definitely in here. So I feel like you guys can be having your eye on this person, okay, or you could be wanting to manifest a, a family, home, life with them as well. So Cancer is collectively sun moon rising. Cancer is collectively sun moon rising. Collectively, thank you, Spirit. What messages do I have for my Cancer? Is collectively sun moon rising, new moon energy. All right. So I have you can do anything you want right now. Go after what you want. The ability to attract helpful people. So the Queen and Gabriel, you guys are standing up for what you believe in. This is also you knowing what you want. You're not allowing people to judge or budge you this is also you don't give a fuck about what people say you don't have time for people that's gonna judge you for what you want this is also you asking for help okay people wanting to help you okay releasing the past this is three of michael so you see how he's consoling her so someone be con someone can be consoling you or you could be consoling someone but it's also releasing the past and realize that you will grow from the wounds okay when you release things from the past f past burdens past things that may have hurt you you can sit on your throne as a man as as a woman here and know that you can do anything you want. This can also self-confidence, self-value. And it's time to take action. Okay? A great passion or cause. Instinctively knowing just what to do. So you guys, it, I feel like there's a need for you guys to, to let go of the past in order for you guys to walk into this abundance. For some of you. Others of you, I feel like you guys are needing to release the past so you can grow so you can grow so you can take action into what you need to after this person you guys are being angelic guided to go forward into okay or this relationship as well peace love and light i guys i love you like i love myself